everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got something really exciting update for all of you AI content creators out there. If you've been juggling multiple subscriptions for tools like Kling, Luma, Halo Mini Max, Runway, and many others, you're going to love this. We're talking about Crea, the ultimate one-stop, all-in-one AI content creation tool. Let's dive into what makes Crea a potential game changer. All right, so first off, Crea aims to solve one of the biggest headaches that AI creators face, having to subscribe to multiple services just to get the best of each tool. Imagine having access to all of your favorite AI tools, but through one central hub. That's exactly what Crea's new update has done. With a single subscription, Crea lets you use popular image generation models like Flux, Ideogram 2.0, TurboFlux 1.1 Pro, and even Flux 1.1 Pro Ultra, which in some cases is proving to be better than Midjourney. And on top of that, you get video models like Kling, Luma, Runway, and Hiluo's Mini Max. Now, let's talk about how Crea can simplify your workflow. Picture this. You want to create a stunning visual video content. With traditional methods, you'd probably generate your images in Midjourney, upscale them in Topaz, and animate them in Kling and you'd end up paying for three different tools. With Crea, you can do all of this under one UI. Need advanced prompting for complex video scenes? No problem. Crea provides access to Runway as well. This makes the entire content creation process smoother, quicker, and most importantly, more affordable for people who aren't creating massive amounts of content every day. One of the big selling points here is the cost effectiveness, especially if you're someone who creates AI content moderately. Instead of juggling five to six different subscriptions, Crea gives you all these capabilities in one place, which can definitely save you money. But if you're someone who's constantly creating large volumes of AI content, like every single day, individual subscriptions might still be a better choice. Why? Well, that's because Crea's generation times, particularly for video clips, are slower compared to when you use these tools individually. For example, with Kling alone, you could generate a video clip in about two to five minutes, whereas the same clip might take almost an hour through Crea. But let's also talk about what you gain. With Crea, you get the ability to use different models for different tasks without committing to each of them individually. Kling is great for standard animations. Luma works wonders for image fusions, and Runway helps with those scenes that require a bit more technical prompting. Having all these options in one place can be super helpful, particularly when your needs are varied. Let's start generating some images using Flux. First, I'll paste in a prompt and click the Generate button. As you can see, the image was created quite quickly. However, I'm not too happy with the current aspect ratio, so I'll adjust it to 16 by 9 and click Generate again. Now the image has a more cinematic feel. I like the third one, so I'll use it to generate a video. To generate the video, I'll click on the video button for that image. Enter the same prompt I used for the image, select the Halo AI model, and click generate. This takes about 10 minutes, so I'll speed up the process for you. Here's the result. The video is really smooth with nice background movement and the hair also moves naturally. However, there's not a lot of overall movement so I'll tweak the prompt to see if we can add more action. After another 10 minutes, we have the updated video. This time, there's much more movement, including camera motion and the subject in action. When creating videos, it helps to include clear instructions in your prompt to avoid a static feel. Next, let's try using Flux Pro Ultra, which creates more realistic and lifelike images. I'll paste the prompt and click Generate. As before, the generation is very fast and the resulting image looks incredibly realistic. You'd hardly guess it was AI generated. Now I'll use the image to generate a video. I'll change the video model to runway and click generate. This time I encountered an error, which was due to the prompt being too long. Runway works best with short, simple prompts. So I'll shorten it to a bee flying away from a flower and click generate. 
Runway's video generation is quite fast. It took around a minute or less. Here's the result. Although there's movement in the bee, it's not exactly flying. You might need multiple attempts to get the desired movement. Let's also try a different aspect ratio to see if it improves the outcome. I'll use the same prompt, but switch the aspect ratio to 16 by nine, then click generate again. Now I'll click the video button. We'll change the prompt, select Kling Pro as the video model and choose forward up for the camera motion and then click generate. As many of you know, Kling Pro takes a while, about 15 minutes in this case, but the result speaks for itself. In my opinion, Kling Pro is the best AI video model. The overall subject and camera movement is remarkable. Even if the bee isn't flying, the result is still very good. Crea also offers other features you can explore. You can choose an image style when generating with Flux. Just type your prompt, click Add Style, and you'll find plenty of styles to choose from. Once you select a style, click Generate, and the image will reflect your chosen style. To upscale or enhance an image, go to the Assets tab, where all your generated content is stored. Click on an image or video to enhance it. Note that video upscaling requires the max plan, but you can still upscale images with the basic plan. To upscale an image, simply click on it, hit the upscale button, and then click enhance. You can even use the enhanced image as the base to generate a video. In summary, Crea is a promising all-in-one solution for those of us who want to streamline our content creation workflow without breaking the bank. It brings together a wide array of powerful tools, making it easier to create images, animations, and more without hopping between multiple platforms. But whether it's right for you depends on your specific needs, especially how much content you're creating and how fast you need it. So what do you think? Is Crea the solution we've been waiting for? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI content and tool reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.